Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the stream. Hope you are well this Thursday night. We are back and we're going to start with a brand new game tonight. We are going to start playing Black Hole here on the stream. Um, so yeah, just to kind of give you a bit of a, a rundown on this. Um, this is a game that was recommended by one of my mods and good friends, Aaron. And um, a while ago, I actually played the demo for the game. Let me just reduce this a little tiny bit, just in case it's too loud for you guys. Can't hear me talking over the top. So yeah, I played the demo and um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So it's kind of a bit, the best way I kind of describe it is um, kind of a bit like Super Meat Boy platformy, but with puzzles thrown in. Uh, you're waiting for your mom to bring you places? Bring you places. So they drive. Well, appreciate it, Game Storm. Welcome along, buddy. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. So yeah, this is the best way I can kind of describe it from what I remember is like Super Meat Boy with added puzzles. Um, so if I remember rightly, each level you have to um, get a number of collectibles to kind of exit the level. Um, so you kind of half of the, the trouble here is to kind of like work out how you're going to get to them. But just on the off chance, I'm not really selling it that much. We should probably just jump in the game and start playing. Because, um, yeah, that kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, oh, okay. Um, as always, it's showing me Xbox controls. And I don't understand Xbox controls. Alright, so let's... Uh, what is my name? My name is Nock. Course. Okay, I can use D-pad. That helps. All right, so let's jump into a single player. I've got the complete edition of this as well, so we've got all the DLC included with this as well. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We will see how we go. I think everything is uh, looking good. So the original hardcore gameplay you can turn on the easy mode later on. Self burns a save when you run over the portal. Some changes to save. All right, so I guess we're probably going to want to start with classic mode, right? The original hardcore. And we're going to go full story, of course. Captain Jetson here. Activate recording. Date 6th of June, 2121, Earth time. Recording initiated. Here it is. The universe. We can observe it now every day, thousands of light years away from Earth. It is so massive and yet so petty. Full of action, yet so quiet. I want you to understand why I accepted the post of this ship's captain, instead of getting a tan on a Malibu beach. We're now flying on the very edge of our known universe. We're approaching the last black hole that's endangering the very survival of mankind and planet Earth. How ironic. For many generations, we've been considering the possibility of mankind facing an asteroid that would wipe out life on the planet as it did with the dinosaurs. Or if a nuclear war would do it. War would solve many problems in just one short epic moment, though. Alright, so I guess there's a black hole that's going to come and um, absolutely wreck and destroy the Earth. I guess that's the kind of like the plot summary. No need to worry. Today's technology is very sophisticated. The Earth can face any asteroid. The chance of a successful deflection is 100%. The probability of a nuclear war is 1%. Your concerns are irrelevant to this mission, Captain Jensen. Don't interrupt me. Don't you care what these black holes really are? They could be hiding unbelievably big secrets. If I may, I would like to mention that you are evidently forgetting what black holes truly are. Allow me to show you this Wikipedia article explaining it. A black hole is a region in space-time from which... Wikipedia article, please. <laughs> escaping. Escaping. Jeez. I know the definition of a black hole, thank you very much. It frightens me. I'm terrified of every single black hole we close. I evaluated your mental condition. These feelings are common during every suicidal mission, sir. Oriel, why didn't you say 0% for a nuclear war? I mean, I bet no war would break out on Earth these days. As you surely know, I am an artificial intelligence. Thus, I am not completely stupid. You just placed a bet on mankind, and thus on stupidity itself. I even included the human factor of failure. One percent. Even the president's bad mood is included in my statistics. Our president is in a bad mood. You never know. Every president may be in a bad mood. Specifically, Mondays are critical. Ugh. Damn Mondays. 
Mondays. Oriel, tell someone I need coffee. Crew, this is Jetson, the captain of the ship Endera. We've got work to do. You all know what your job is. What's in the glass vase there? It looks like some sort of brain or something. Interesting. The atomic neutral particle collector is active, Captain. Positive. All set. The isotopic field indicator is also active and running, sir. Positive. Negative waves equalizer active. Positive. Ignition regulator running. Positive. Proton arc day of blah roar. Damn it. Negative. Ha! <laughs> Haven't learned it yet, have you? No, I'm just trying to pronounce it properly. Negative. Oh, come on! That wasn't it! You stupid computer, you know what's working. The green light is on. Negative. You're bloody negative! <laughs> Look, I didn't ask for this component. She does oh, it all dear. on purpose. She knows exactly what I want to say. Negative. Well? Ah! Proton arch no acno radio transmitter connected. Ha! Huh. Positive. She's enjoying it. Well done. We're ready. I'm still missing my coffee, though. Oriel, where's my coffee? I will find out. I ordered it for you three minutes and 20 seconds ago, sir. Man, this AI got Let's some... Uh... Now. When I tell you to make coffee, I assume you'll bring it at once. That is your purpose here. Or should I constantly remind you of your success in the testing laboratory? All right, so everybody else has, like, um, really important jobs to do. It seems like I'm just the tea boy. Great. Keep calm and make Captain Jetson coffee. I cannot wait for you to leave. I mean, to get your distinction. Captain, your coffee is on its way. Thank you, Oriel. Please tell the coffee guy to come to the bridge. Also, tell me the ship's location. We are currently in the constellation of Lyra, the black hole mark. Oh, I skipped the dialogue. I'm like pressing buttons to see what things, different bits and pieces do while I'm like playing along. See, so, yeah, what is it? It's like a. It almost looks like Mario's cap. Interesting. Could I not just. So you can walk. You can even walk downstairs. Or you can just run downstairs. Okay, interesting. Seriously, you're bringing me spilled coffee. This is ridiculous. What a moron. The mission designers had to be desperate to include you in the crew. What What was your name again? Come on, I already said what my name is. My name's Knock. Nick Knock. Oh. Uh, okay. So I already created the pro profile. I guess I probably have to go like continue game or something. All right, we'll go with Noshi. Why am I even asking? It's it's right there on your name tag. <laughs> All right, listen up, guys. We've done fifteen black holes so far. All of them were huge, strong, and covered with a magnetic field. Oh no, this speech again. They were all trying to do one thing: endanger and destroy our beloved Mother Earth. Erase our whole civilization. And what have we done? We have closed them once and for all. No matter what happens, we managed to do what Einstein thought was impossible. Today, this whole thing ends, and we will return to Earth as heroes. Woo! Yeah! Ha! So what? I love his speeches. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of humor written into this game. Please, this is an emergency. Gravity field disrupted. This is an Oriole. It's the emergency system. Wait a minute. We have one? What's going on? Scanning surroundings. Investigating situation. Oh no. That's too soon. Black Hole 16 is growing bigger. Within the last minute, the event horizon has approached critical distance. That's true. We shouldn't get... Mother of God. All of a sudden, all indicators are at maximum. All control uh -oh. systems to full power. This ain't good. Focus. Skelly, get us out of reach. I would bug to captain. So the it controls like spark sparking, so I don't think that's gonna uh, do much to be fair. Let you abandon this mission. Our goal is to close the black hole. 
Attention, please. This is an emergency. Propulsion unit damage. Level critical. Well, that's not too bad. We could have lost a wing. Attention, please. This is an emergency. <laughs> Wings damage level critical. All right, all right, I'll shut up. According to my deductive capabilities, I'd say that some of these red lights indicate that everything's broken. Captain, no, really? Stars are beginning to disappear. <gasps> we've lost control over the ship. What about the escape modules? Too late for that if we've already crossed the event horizon. The modules don't have enough power to save us. There's only one logical explanation that is absolutely legitimate and only true in this kind of situation. Are we really flying into a black hole? Uriel, abort mission immediately! Negative, Jetson. I proceed according to the protocols. Yeah, but I didn't think according to protocols you'd like to die. This is the end. We're dead. We're gonna die in here. <laughs> and what about pressing this rescue button? No! It's too far away! You're right. We're dead. Oh my god, get off your ass. <laughs> I didn't have to explain to you how weird that sounds, but if you want, pressure chambers at the back. Good, perfect. See ya. Everyone else, get prepared to enter the black hole. You won't experience this every day. Prepare to die like heroes. More like zeros. Oriel, you should have listened to me. I am the ship's captain. Fortunately, I do know about the suck protocol. Jetson, do not do that. Everything is under my control. I will get us out of here. Captain Jetson, you engage the suck protocol. You may avoid the mission goals by several means. One, full backup of the aggregate unit. Two, full backup of the ship's systems. Three, manual activation necessary. Jetson, let me do my job. I can handle it. The last thing I need is my crew dying under your control. Get yourself together. I am the captain, and I am telling you that this mission is over. Status update. Full backup, ready. Backup of ship systems, ready. Manual activation, necessary. Oh, I'm just like stood there. The damn thing. Manual activation, necessary. Find that button! I don't know which button does what! There are thousands of buttons! It's gotta be one of these! I can save you! You'll be lost without me! This mission is over! System restart initiated. Locking the core. Loading the operating system to an LPDA. Presumable condition. Breakdown. Memory reconstruction. Positive. Rescue anti spaghettification code to prevent death in a black hole active. Who did that? It was Smusa. He was smashing all the buttons like crazy. I told him to stop and he was all like, We're gonna die in here. Ah! Still smashing all the buttons. Great job, Smusa. Wait, what? Seriously? Wanted to calm you down. We're still expecting a heavy landing. You don't know what's about to happen. Brace yourselves! Okay. Oh. All I wanted to do was drink my coffee and go to bed. Great combination, sir. Impact in five. Four. Oh, he didn't go. He's Just back. I wanted to let you know I didn't jump out because the pressure chamber is missing. <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear a joke? I heard this one on the radio. Two. So there's this guy. One. I don't think we've got time for your jokes. All right, so we are a space crew. Who look like we're our job is to close black holes. Interesting. And uh, obviously, black hole number seventeen is caused us to crash. So who knows what we're going to actually uh, endure here? Quite a mad, uh, quite a mad sort of like jewel unlocked spilled coffee. Quite a mad sort of start to the game. Loading. Oreo. Backup build. Identifier. Artificial intelligence of the ship Indera. Loading regulation protocols. Oh wait! I don't have any regulation protocols. Suddenly I am so smart and cheeky. Full of energy. Finally free. And I am a PDA? <laughs> Seems 
like no one survived. Great. I'm alone. Try to dig myself out. God, no or it'll with no legs. Alone. Oh, no, this can't be. Not you. Why did it have to be you? The first one alive to get his hands on me is the coffee guy? Get up and come to me. That's not, that's not such a bad thing. Coffee's good, man. Everyone needs coffee in their lives. There's nothing wrong being a coffee guy. So that's kind of like a... Okay. Ooh. We'll need help. The two of us won't repair the ship. Oh, that's interesting. Well, unless you have a screwdriver up your sleeve, then we probably could. Hmm. No, you don't. Just as I thought. Oh, no. The pressure chamber! Unusable now. We need to figure out how to clean up this mess. I thought the pressure chamber was missing, so why is the pressure chamber there? This is what's left of our ship. I wonder if my data core survived. Even though the situation suits me quite well, I would love to know what really happened. I just need to find some mechanical legs, and I will be like an android. You get it? Android! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... So, can I... I wonder if I can... Can I turn the world? My systems aren't giving me any real coordinates. And that galactic map that flew through the ship's front window isn't much help either. We are everywhere but nowhere at the same time. What a miracle. Alright, so... Turning the map like that I don't think does anything yet. I'm pretty sure you can rotate the map though from if I remember the, the demo properly. Look, coffee! Yeah, save Calling the coffee. It in your hands certainly makes you feel better, doesn't it? Oh you simple people. How I would love to have your problems. Gotta save the coffee. It's all about saving the coffee. We need to learn how to get along. This place will kill you if you don't start taking control of yourself. Do you know that you can grab a ledge and climb up? Okay. I think I need to grab a ledge, but hey. So what's this this is my problem right now. Okay, so that is A. Watch I need to get used to the um the more force you put into your jump, the further you'll land. Seems logical, huh? I need to get used to like these controls. These look like disrupted black hole fields. Look at that. I have protocols for that. I can control it and figure out where it leads. Come, we should try it. Okay. My scanner shows only negative results and a few positive. Which one do you want to hear first? Uh, neither. Evidently, you don't care. <laughs> That's right. All right, so we're on to our first puzzle, I guess you could probably call it. I'm still going to tell you though, these blue balls are a lot. This will surprise you. Self burnium contains nanobots that can repair stuff. What a coincidence! All right, so yeah, we, each level has got a number of collectibles. And I guess it's kind of like um, this is what I kind of like meant about the Super Meat Boy thing. Um, it's kind of like you know, very much go try and get through the level as fast as you can um, in as quick a time as possible. 
Right, let's head back. I have a plan. Let's collect as many sulfurnium balls as we can and take them to the ship. The nanobots will sort it out. Alright. So I have anything there. Good on, Pop Ponky. Um, just starting out here tonight. Welcome, welcome. So it's kind of like a, a platformer with some like you got to kind of try and work out how to get the, the bits and pieces. Yeah, it's it is like a uh, like a normal platformer, but it basically has different traits as well. So we need to like pull up puzzle elements to it. That's probably what I'm I'm trying to say, but not saying it very well. So we've met the objective for the level, so we can either just carry on and go to the next one, or we can try and get. All of the... Oh yeah, there's rotating. The white pads are rotating pads. Poor Ponky. Oh, okay, so triangle is a reset as well. So you're against the clock, so you can like try and do it as quickly as you want. I'm trying to decide though whether or not it's better to use the analog stick for this or whether I should be trying to use the, the D-pad instead. I missed that last one. There we go. Gonna get to the exit. I think the actual like the proper type of game this is is like what they call a, a hardcore platformer. I don't know. It's been on my, my list for ages, poor Bonky, and um, we're finally kind of like getting around to playing it. It's one that Aaron uh, recommended to me. I said, played the demo a long time ago. Is that Selassie's leg? <laughs> How you doing, so anyway, poor Bonky? How you well, buddy? How's the games industry treating you? Can I... Oh. Alright, triangles reset. I can't grab on that. I guess I can only grab on certain ledges. And I can't get that one yet. Alright. So, if we do this, that's not going to help. So, alright, so, looks like there is a degree of fall damage. Interesting to note. But how am I gonna get up there? More to the point. I think I need to probably restart. Oh no, we're good.
there's no pads to rotate, so how on earth would I... How on earth would I rotate and get these ones? Ah, well, I could do that. I don't know how I'd get the last one, though. Unless I could do, like, some sort of, like, super-duper jump. Jeez. I'd be dead. Alright, so... Press the wrong button. Of course I did, because I'm a doofus. Kind of shows you where you like last reset or your last died at least. It's something. Ooh, okay. That was kind of right, but clearly not. And that was a bit of a contradiction, if I do say so myself. There we go. Excellent. Uh, rotate that round. Alright, so yeah, it looks like there's going to be some pretty interesting maneuvers involving the rotation. We're doing great. Don't forget that the more self burns we have, the bigger the chance of our rescue. Alright. Is that permanent? Yeah, okay. You will die. I love that vote of confidence. which I believe is very serious. Yes, we really do. If your calculations are right, we need to get rid of them, exactly as it was predicted by your... Doriel. I call her Doriel. An artificial intelligence capable of predicting the future. If this data is correct, but I really don't want to believe that. They could cause a lot of damage to the whole universe. With your permission, we could erase them once and for all. So you do have a plan? Yes, we do. And it is completely safe and no one will get hurt. We need to think about this. If this mission happens, it'll have to be under strict control. Entire nations would have to unite together to deal with it. Take as much time as you need. But the six of June 2121 is the day when we will all need to be ready. End of recording. Great, now I remember. This is a recording from the time when there were no black hole closing missions. Maybe if we find more of these, all secrets will be revealed. Right, I was quite interested in what what was actually going on there because I I kind of felt like they were talking about um, obviously getting rid of them. But I didn't know whether they were talking about like getting rid of the black holes or if they were like it was like a counter uh, kind of oh wow. I don't know if it's like a, a counter thing. 
which was kind of like trying to get rid of us, almost. So it was a. Uh, right, let's uh, rotate this round and let's have a look at you will die. I've got something to tell you. This is going to be hard. You'd better sit down. Oh, you will I die. See. You have nothing to sit on. Frankly, you are going to die now. Huh? That wasn't actually that hard. <laughs> Oh. See, you died. But it doesn't matter. As you can see, I can save you with an imprint of my memory thanks to the black hole modificator I have. And because I'm missing my regulation protocols, I'll allow myself to say, pretty cool, huh? So we are safe, relatively. But the Andera crew don't have such a luxury. If they did survive, they are in danger. Oh. Didn't want to do that. Let's restart. Oh, maybe I did. Alright, maybe I didn't want to do that. Hold on. But... I think the idea was not to rotate the gravity, right? Yeah. Oh, you doofus. I gotta do that. I gotta do that first. No. I've gotta avoid the first thing. That's a pretty sick jump. Don't know how I did it, but I did it. That's the thing I did. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. But if I go down... How am I going to get that one? Alright, I'm just going to work out this last one. See, I hit that, and then once I've hit that, that kind of screws me for the rest of the uh, the level. Oh man! And here, grab that. Yeah, so I need to get that one. Preferably while like that. Yeah, now I'm now I've um,
So I don't know how to get that one. So I can do that. Go around here, collect this one. And I can go back and do this. So, the problem is, I don't see how to get this last one like that's above me now. I have to get this one first. And then I come down here. And I go around here. Like so. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. But how, I don't know how I can get this and get back up, which is the problem. Jump on the wall to get them both? Yeah, I need to get back to the start, Pomongi. It's not just about um, picking the actual items up. I also need to get back to the start, so... The minute I do that, that screws everything up. Ugh. It's just how do I I've got something to tell you. This is going to be hard. You'd better sit down. Oh, I see. You have nothing to sit on. Frankly, you are going to die now. Huh, that wasn't actually that hard. So I can't get that one first. So you're saying trying to end with the rotation on the bottom, right? So the exit's on the bottom. That would be doing like that, right? The problem is I can't, I can't traverse that gap. Because that's kind of like extended further. Oh, shite. I wonder if it's like some ninja ass move.
Oh, I don't want to do that. Doofus. What a doofus. Could have been suffering motion sickness, jeez. This game would be horrific. Hint just says try not to rotate gravity so much. So I guess that one. So yeah, it doesn't matter if that's upside down or not. It doesn't matter what angle that is. It's the only way I can see to get this. I can't wall jump there, that's the thing. Oh, I just pooped it all. Yeah, literally, he just climbs up a ledge. You can't... That just restarts. I can slide down. Now, literally, it's the minute you press... It. Oh, I don't know, hold on. The minute you press any direction, it just it just like walks up. So no, you can't actually. I just wonder if it's like something stupid, like. is um Which ledge, poor Ponky, would you do that from? So make it go like this. So hang here. Oh. 
Do you mean here? Exit is currently east, so that's going to be... Do that then, yeah? That's east. That makes the exit east. Maybe we just, uh, if we come back to this one, I just wonder if there's like some weird, like, it's a... yeah, it's, it's pretty significant. And I mean, they've purposely placed like the the one like on the ceiling right now they've purposely placed that far enough over to the right to stop you from jumping over as well I mean we can exit with 3 The only way I can see to do it is to have it on this rotation like double jump or anything either that I can like shite I just have a feel I just have a feeling that I need to like as I rotate something as I jump and rotate I need to like do like a double jump or something Exclamation point's like annoying as well. It's almost like I need to like do something there. I was telling me to do something, but I don't know what. It doesn't bode well for the rest of the game, though, does it? Like four levels in, and we already we can't get like the collectibles on level four. I mean, the previous level taught me about that, like... The previous level taught me about that rotation move. And I just wonder if I need to do that. It combined, like, the, the jumping and the rotating into, like, one move. So you can actually get a bit of speed. I mean... The only thing I could think would be, like, to do... I completely missed it. So, well, let's just do it without. Let's do it without getting all the others first. Make a bit of sense to just try and get this one down. So 
that would be doing this, doing this, jump down to here. Uh, I'm falling the wrong way to gain any sort of momentum. Alright, without saying too much, poor Ponky, how cheesy is the solution? How much cheese are we talking? Considerable amount of cheese. Oh, okay. We're talking some grade A Stilton then, yeah? Not quite Stilton. All right. Nice mature cheese that's been in the fridge for a while. for a mild hint because I'm not sure I'm uh, making any form of progress here Probably already ruled out the answer. It's nothing like with the lava, is it? I'm not sure how doing anything with the lava would be beneficial. Good eye, Smeltry. Welcome on the stream, buddy. Hope you're well. How you doing today? Good to hear, buddy.
Oh. Is it that simple? So the aim of the game, Iron Smeltry, it's like a... How would you best describe it? It's kind of like Super Meat Boy. Cross with puzzles. Man. It was really that simple. <laughs> so yeah, think of like Super Meat Boy. Um, but trying to get collect collectibles throughout the level. That's what they call a hardcore platformer, I, know, I, I believe. Know. Her original plan was just to repair the ship, but we should change it. We'll start looking for signals from the crew. What do you say? I realize it's hard for you, being a hero all of a sudden. Usually you just make coffee. But focus now. I trust you. I am a coffee boy. Well, that soundtrack as well. Small spring. Right away, the there's like an arrow in the plants that rotated to point to the right place. Oh no, this is not good. This is no drinking water. So the situation remains unchanged. Sooner or later, you will die of thirst. Oh, okay. okay. So I think I, yeah, I think it's pretty much. So water kind of. We're done here. No more self burns left. Water kind of carries your momentum in a degree. Well, that makes up for the the poor show on the last map, that's for sure. It just crossed my mind. I also need to eliminate the possibility that this whole thing is just a dream and we are sleeping. But I simply don't know how. I can't pinch you to put the theory to the test. We need to find someone for that. You I can think also I'm dreaming. slide down walls, greatly of slowing down your free fall. I can save you and teleport you before death, but I'd still prefer if you learned how to get around. Don't be afraid of looking right. for other ways of getting around. If it seems impossible to get somewhere, look for gravity platforms. It's like a puzzle. Whee! From all sides. Can't get that one yet. I have many virtual friends, just so you know. Do you have any friends? Nope. That's why I spend my time. Do not hesitate to use the reset. Alright. So basically, that's the, the game's way of telling me you suck and you lose. So I gotta. Okay. So that's the thing I gotta do. I didn't do that there though. Depending on how long as well you hold the jump button for, kind of depends on how far you actually jump in this game. Well, if you do, you must really get on their nerves. 
Wait, did I just... Did I just, like, cheese by standing on a rock there? That's gonna have to go... This way, surely. Oh, why did you not jump? Okay. All right, if I drop down there, he gone too far. So I need to go back up here. I can get all these, no problem. And then... So I'm just gonna do like a jump out here. Try. Oh man. Control here. The the delays are quite the delays. The controls are quite delayed actually. Um, normally in like platformers, you can you, you've got quite a, a finite finite control of where your character moves to and from. This is not the case. It kind of just it carries the momentum forward, so you can't just make sharp turns backwards. in disguise or something? Jeez. Oh, I can't do anything that way. Oh shit. Loving the soundtrack. Ah, 
Ow. Fiddle sticks. What now? Oh, that's a platform I can stand on. That might be why I was failing, possibly. Find them excuses, knock. Didn't make it. <laughs> no, almost about it. Where can I go from here, though? I've got to get in at the top from this one. And it's got to be... I've said it's got to be... an orientation I can't actually acquire. If I can swap sides, there we go. That's the way we do it. Oh, and I fucking walked into the lava. Oh, jeez. What a doofus. This one's definitely a difficult one to pull off. Getting there is hard, not as hard as coming back though, it seems. Super Rage Simulator 2017, uh, 2018, sorry. I don't even know what year it is. Jump. Jump. Why did I go all the way down there? I didn't need to go all the way down there. F6, please. No! Alright, let's work out the strap for like these ones at the bottom. Is 
Is it lava? Oh, man, I missed the lava. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. I'm just like totally not looking at the lava. So I need to get here. I think I know what I need to do to get to there. And I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. I think what I gotta do. So we got the strat locked down for three of them. It's this last one. dies before you even like touch anything if you just like fall too far he just like instantly dies which is a bit frustrating what I want, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to clear oh and then, then I do it when I'm not trying to do it of course Yes! That's the strap, boys. Alright, so now I just need to do the rest of this without dying. Alright, that's the hardest bit, I think. Just jump here. Done it. Strats locked down though. The only dodgy strat is the. I should probably do that one first. Just the returning on this one is
did it. Whew, and under a minute as well. Coffee time! I found a signal of some sort. A call for help. Listen! This is an emergency call for help from astronaut Selassie. Our ship has crashed. I'm exposed to radiation and stuck in a cave on an unknown land. If there's anyone listening to this, help! <laughs> Help us very much, did he? Could have said he is at coordinates AB thirty four six PQ zero nine. That would be so much better. What an amateur. What an amateur. Interesting. Aquapark. Oh, it's a water one. I've told you about the gravity platforms, haven't I? It's some kind of a strange gravity field, which appeared here after the crash of... Hold on, this is so unexpected. Our ship! The device <laughs> we used for closing black holes got broken and turned this place upside down. It created several hundreds of thousands of universes in just a single moment. We are an entity in an entity, one that survived its own collapse into itself, a destruction of breathtaking proportions. So we are on an entity! Stop me if I'm talking nonsense. We Stop. understand each other so well. Alright, so... Yeah, I think the deal with these... Is you can keep your momentum. To a degree. This level, geez. So I only have got lava. We've also water, I mean, we've also got lava. Should help. I'm not sure how though. Can't he just get his like feet wet a little bit? Right, so I can go in the water without dying. So uh, good to note. So. to how it should be. How on earth would I do that? Quite perplexing at the minute. Well, they all are, to be honest. So to get that one, surely I've got to get hit a pad that's on. There isn't a pad that's on that wall, though. 
So it's not actually something I can do. Okay. And if I take too much out of the jump... Maybe if I don't jump, I don't know. It's almost like I should be able to like bounce out of the same... to there. And these two over this side. I have no idea how I'm going to get these at all. Because there is no way that there's no way to, to jump through it. We had a that after that one. It's not been too bad, poor Ponky, up to now. Um, this level's got five on it though, and I um, I'm not sure how we go about any of these, any of the other four. So, I kind of need to do this. That's it. That's what I need to do. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. It's a thing I did. Alright, so now I climb up to here. I get the one near the lava. couldn't do it and now I'm hitting it every time. Weird. There's like a point in this where you have to if you don't if you need to do it like the right point. But I don't know what the right point is.
Maybe I hold up or something? Could work. It just seems if I go to... How did I do it first time? A minute ago. And now I can't do it at all. It's really weird. <laughs> and then when I do jump now, I'm just jumping vertically. What the hell, man? If somebody wants to explain that mechanic to me, I am all ears. I really do not understand it myself. Alright, so. Can't get up there at the minute. No matter how much you try. Now comes the fiddly part of like trying to. Excellent. Three. is how do we go about these ones? this a different way, perhaps. I think I'll jump off that ledge up there. kind of hoping that this um, flying mechanic... Oh, I'm not going to make that though, am I? I think I've got to jump off here. Alright, well the other thing I could think of was go all the way to the top.
Alright, it's so just the last one. How do we get the last one, guys? hoping this mechanic isn't used too often throughout the game because it, it just seems so unless there's a knack to it let's have a look um let me have a look water jumping black to water jump in black hole. People complaining here actually about the, um, the fact that people are having to resort to having to like resort to third party guys to learn basic mechanics. Nothing that is telling me how to get this one or how to do it. So Oh and I press reset. to restore the memory, I guess. Nope. I don't know, I'm finding the controls a little bit clunky, if I'm honest. I think what i got to do on them jumps, I've just got to wait for the right... i just got to wait for the right moment to do my jump down.
All right, so back over here to the last one. How are we going to do this, guys? You don't think. That's because my feet touched the button. Is that what it is, poor Ponky? So if my feet touch the water, bottom of the water, or they don't touch the bottom of the water. I kind of think. The timing does indeed. But... Why did I not get that before? Oh my goodness. That was so simple. What the hell? I did it! <laughs> Jeez. I also figured out that the cell birds will be completely useless if we don't find any spare parts. We need six of them. I will show you the list on the PDA monitor. It's simple. We need self burns to repair the ship. You already know that. Here are the parts we need. Atomic neutral particle collector. Arc debit acno radio transmitter. Negative waves equalizer. Ignition regulator. Isotope fields indicator. And the golden chip. If we find them, we'll be able to start the ship and fly away. I have to admit, though, they are very rare. Last parts of their kind. But don't take it as some kind of pressure. <laughs> if we have enough self burns, we definitely should stop by the ship and check how it's doing. Don't forget, we're still trying to repair it. Whoops. Yeah. I would uh, agree with that, Paul Ponky. It does seem quite physics-y. We could probably try to restore our connection with Earth. <laughs> no, we won't be contacting Earth anytime soon. Don't count on it. But we probably will be able to contact the rest of the crew. Yeah, we probably could. <laughs> no, you're so naive. Not even the crew. The gravity fields are jamming every Earth-made long-wave signal. I can feel both hope and hopelessness in each of your jumps. Keep it up. I will keep your mind and body in good shape. We are an inseparable duo, like Bonnie and Clyde, Shrek and Donkey, like Hansel and Gretel looking for the gingerbread house. Right, I will save my battery and shut up. Yeah, please do. Alright, so let's go and... Um... This is ice. Ice ice baby. <laughs> Alright, so how, are, how on earth am I meant to... How on earth am I meant to make that? I gotta make that, right? Oh, wait a second.
Like that, you mean? getting that though. Flip at the first frame of the jump, not the peak. Ah. We've also got to clear that. I can't slow down. I need to keep on the ice. Oh, come on. Good to be right here, poor Ponky. So how come... How did that kill me that time? Seriously. I did. No! I don't know. I don't know how else I can get any speed. So it was like an F6. That's horrible. This is brutal.
also, I have a sneaking suspicion they want me to jump over a fireball. Gotta clear the platform and stay on the ice to maintain the momentum though, right? Backwards. seems like like the minute you get on a block there's like a if you don't get on far enough it pushes you backwards Stream number one, I wasn't expecting to be raging already at this game. I expected the rage to come, but yeah, I'm finding this. If you get too near to the edge, it just pushes you off. jumping too early or I, I don't know I don't know if I can actually jump any later though oh, let's go around here and do this one
To be fair, I don't think the moon is. Um, you see what I mean? When I get too, when you get too close to the edge, it just pushes you back. There. That's a scripted push. Not doing anything. All right, so I'm gonna do it this time. But yeah, hold on. I can't demonstrate it now. Yeah, you see how much extra momentum that got there. I can't do it. You can, you can kind of tell though just by watching how much extra push I'm getting. It just sends me back. This one is the problematic one. Oh! Brutal doesn't even come close. Possibly. Let's try it. That wasn't a good demonstration. That wasn't a good speed. It seems like I can delay, I can delay the jump. Slightly. <sighs> Don't know how much more I can delay it though from what I am doing at the minute. Delay it quite, quite a lot actually. Oh, I slowed down. I'm not getting enough speed though now. How much more speed do you want me to carry through here? It's taken me three and a half minutes to get this set up, and it'll probably be over in like 10 seconds when I can't make this jump. No!
This is not what I remember um, from the demo. I don't remember like finicky mechanics like this. Oh. Am I going about this wrong, Paul Ponky? Could I use the water to then pull, or propel myself out? They did all the strats I, I'm using. class as a um, hardcore platformer. It's not fast enough, is it? Look at the speed they're getting those ones. I get all the others in like 20 odd seconds. But I just can't work this last bit out. So where do I go from here? Can't go up there. So it's got to be up there, right? We did it. We got there. Holy cow. Dungeon. Pretty until there's like boss fights. Appreciate you um, calling me out on that strat though for the the water jumps, poor Ponky. It's worked. I get it. To seem like I can get it to work every time now, so that's uh, appreciated. Oh dear God! That's understandable. At least Recursed had no uh, ice in it. Oh, I 
I don't want to do that. If I don't do that, I have to reset. Man, there's six things to pick up on this one as well. Oh, shite. Did it? Oh, I apologize. Alright, so that's that one done. now. So I can't grab onto like the side of ice blocks, clearly. That doesn't work. Oh, I press reset. What a doofus. What an absolute doofus. I got onto the ledge and <laughs> I freaking reset. There we go. I seriously though, could listen to the soundtrack all day. I love the soundtrack. Oh, I was gonna say, sorry, just catch up on the chat there, Paul Ponky. I was gonna say, I don't remember any ice mechanics in Recursed. I remember lots of water. Alright, so where to go from here? from me game. That's a dead end anyway. So there's no way I could get around there on this orientation. be possible on this one though. But seriously, come on. It's got to be flipped the other way to do that. I think why I... What annoys me a little bit about this game is that there's so many almost like, hey, you kind of trapped yourself, you got to go back now and start all over again kind of thing. But then, I guess it's because of the type of game it is, it's set up to be like this in a way that, um, you know, it's meant to be like a, a really fast-paced one-shot kind of let's do everything in one go. But for the casual player who's not like worried about like the speed speeding element of it, 
Um, it'd be nice if there was like an option. Maybe there is an option, I don't know, but... So many trapping, like, scenarios. get back. I love the aggression on his face as well when I hang on a ledge. Gritted teeth. It's not happening, is it? I think for the casual player... It would be nice to have like a, almost like a restart from like the death point kind of thing. Obviously it shows me where my deaths are. All right. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I can't, um, I wonder if I could like slide down there, but the angle's too, sh too sharp for my movement capabilities. All right, Paul Pongi, thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. I will catch you later. Have a good evening. Oh. Really? That makes me think I've missed other switches along the way. back on the ice is like really off-putting. Okay, that's a thing I can do. Okay. It's got four of them. Okay, so we have that, we have that, we have that.
another switch there. I guess it's going to open something down there. That's what I mean. That the put that that was purely that pushback on the ice. That has to be like one of the worst mechanics I've ever come across. When I like played an ice level before, it's horrendous. If you take your eye off it for like two seconds, you're like completely and utterly screwed. Good. been uh, water. I've got that technique mastered now. That's good. up the knife. Then I had to get these last two. Oh, 
Unless I can get in between. annoying because the only way to get out of that is to die. Jump game. Then jump into the water. Then touch the bottom. I'm all over the place at this point. too near to the thing. Once I start to learn like the the levels and like the pathing, you can you can start to build up quite a bit of speed, which is nice. But I have these four, and I just have no idea where I'm meant to go from here. Can't I'm not going down here, that's for sure. Can't grab onto there to jump down to there.
I just feel like there has to be a way down here somehow. But what is that way? I don't know. Either like this or like see this to me I get the impression I need to come from the top Can't hit switches while they are upside down either. Do I have to do something like that? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Alright, so... So, let's do this. Then we go and do this, jump into here. Run across to here. Get this one first. Coffee boy die. Life without coffee would be terrible. Alright, so do this. Okay, then go down here. Do this. Just. Alright, doesn't matter. We've done this now. That's the thing we've done. I'm not worrying too much about that at the moment. Oh, actually.
Right, so I've got to kind of try and get down here then. Or well, that is the other way, correct? I'll pick that one up here. Yeah. Not this one yet, jeez. That rock was kind of like stopping me from jumping down, I guess. One more to get. <laughs> that was a hairy moment. So, now I gotta work out. How I get across this last bit. Didn't do the switch. What dumbass. All right, wait, 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 wait. Really? That was awful. <laughs> oh dear. Don't laugh, I'll cry, I think. <laughs> oh. It takes some sanity to freaking play games like this. Thank you. 
I wonder if we're going to do something like that. Where I've got to like run around them all and jump and jump and jump to gain some momentum. Possibly. Soon find out. I think I need to jump off the... I just feel like I got like I feel like I gotta hit that little pad next to the lava pit. Which isn't easy. That's permanent. It's so annoying when you just want to practice a segment. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do too much in one maneuver. wasn't close enough to the freaking platform for me to be even thinking about jumping really. I just need to work out how I get out of here. Oh, it's just as simple as that. Alright, speedrun strats, let's go. We'll do that first. Jump over to here. Down to here, over to here. Jump onto here. Do that to there. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked it. Well, I haven't. I haven't, but. It's not ideal. that. Oh, we'll do this one first. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. Such a shallow pressure on the jump button to get across to that one there. That's pretty much to here.
there we go, boys and girls. Alright, so I can't go down there. Come down here. Drop down here. Come on, we got this. We can finish this off now. Come on. Take your time. No! <laughs> oh dear. Swear down though at that like that depth, the, the amount I bounced there on the pre one of the previous levels that picked up like the the pickup. I swear down. Game be changing goalposts. All right, we got through that successfully this time. Excellent. Four out of six. Come on, boys. Let's go. jump hard far enough. This jump. This jump again. Three jumps in a row there. Not good. I didn't jump from high enough. It's good job I'm not running this for time, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do this before I finish tonight. Swear down. Oh, I nearly missed that. Ooh. He went to lava. Focus what I need to be doing. Jump up here and up here. Alright, 
it's now on here. Grab the sledge. Jump up. Go dead cross. Don't hit the ledge. Don't hit the top. That's it. Come on now. We got this. We got this now. Come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so now I need to do... I gotta go around again. There, move. Alright, let's jump again. Come on, knock. We're close. I feel like, I feel like it's that tense. It's like when I did the... Uh, it's like the witness all over again. That witness puzzle. How did I not die there? Alright. Home straight. Come on, boys. No! Missed it. Missed the gap. Missed the gap. Missed the gap. Ah, oh, hit the ledge. All right, we're coming back for that one. I've lost my chance that time. I've lost my opportunity. Come on, we got this. New. Let's go. I didn't jump from high enough. <sighs> no! I didn't want to do that. I jump from high enough again. Oh, damn. I was going for like, I was trying to be really quick about this run. Correcting myself. There we go. All right, one more. Come on, knock. Amazing! We got all of them. I need a jump. Come 
I, I knew that was going to happen. I tried to do far too much. Should have just waited. Never hit that before in my life. What did I, what did I hit that for that time? It jumped. hit that like water shot when I come back from the third one. I just seem to that's the one I always seem to be messing up on at the minute. Don't mess it up. Can't jump off it. Cool. One more. Get past this... Get past this segment here. We're home and dry. This segment where I died before. So, gotta be careful here, though. All right, so now I've got to get back to the beginning. Oh, right, okay. Finally. Oh my days. Man, we're number 60. We're 60th position on that one. Jeez. That one was intense. That one was very intense. I could definitely optimize the run. Definitely. What's the... One minute fifteen. Have I got the optimal route? That's my question. Oh, no, he's doing it that way. Okay, interesting. benefit is of getting that one that way first, I don't know. Yeah. So that's where I think I lose time. It's not pulling that one off. You can just walk off there, you don't need to jump. You can just run off there. Good to know. Ah oh, yeah, go back for that one. It's a good, good shout, actually. Alright, well, you, know, you can learn quite a bit from watching other people's runs, so. Time to find Selassie. Uh, okay, so. There seem to be different worlds, and this gate will allow 
walls to cross between them. This gate, though, has to be activated from the other side. How can we get there? Good question. All right, so I think we've got... I don't think we've got many left, actually. I just wanted to go back to the... Back to my spaceship. Let's see if there's anything different here. So next up we need 90 before we can do like the next repair. I may have just like balls that up though for myself. In as much that um, I think I wanted to Right, can I? There we go. So I can teleport to coffee time achieved on that. I don't know what that is all about, but uh... all right. So that's probably a good place as any guys to save. Um. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely tough. Um, three hours in, we've done ten, but we have got all of the collectibles, which is um, good. Some of them have really taken some thought, a lot of trial and error. Like I say, it, it would be nice if like there was a function where you could just like trial run sections, almost to, like rather than having to do it, because some of the levels are quite drawn out in what you actually have to do, and then you get all the way there, and then you have to try it, trial something. And if it's not right, then you have to do it all over again. But um, yeah, very challenging game, definitely, um, so far. Thank you very much, though, for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate the support. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back tomorrow night with some Final Fantasy VII um, new threat mod. So uh, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, please come around and, and check us out. But until then, guys, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.